All right, after ruining everything with the <laughs> getting on the false and archaeology rework thing, I kind of ruined the pace of it. So I'm just going to do the rest of these minifigures, and I'll go right into skeletons so you can kind of get a better idea. Whoa, Pladiosaurus. They did not finish the toy. All right, so I'm going to redo that sound video as well. Wait, where's the water? Um, I do want to see reworked. What happened to the fuck? The water just delete it? It feels like I missed some. I don't think I did. I think I didn't do. I might be just going schizo. Hold on a second. I might be just in the chest. Oh, why is everybody messaging me now? Why is everybody awake now? Obviously, I don't see any changes with it, so. Oh, yeah, I need to redo uh, Triceratops as well, since it's. Oh, they didn't go with the striped one this time. That's a flip. Copy it. Neato. Alright, so again, as you saw with the lag, um, I need to do them in small little intervals. So I need, I need to be careful. I'll start from the bottom to the top, so it's kind of a little easier for me to find things. Raptor, Ultimosaurus, boop, boop, boop. Cyrachosaurus, Struthiomimus. So we stopped at the very bottom. Okay, we have... Boop. I'll show you all the different forms as well, just to help a little bit. Okay, stopped at Plesiosaur.
just tap that Giga. Oh, I went too far. Giga, boop. But yeah, the fossil and archaeology mod that is trying to give nostalgia, or I guess like reinvent it a little bit by having a mod with all the old models, it doesn't do well. They messed up. So they need to revisit that and try to fix it up. Because I do think they kind of messed up on uh, uh, they messed on the models. It doesn't look good. Uh, so here's the Ichthyosaurus, Epsilophodon. Any modes? Jumping, obviously. Running. An idle, obviously. for the Tyrannosaurus, then, it, then death, then attacking, that's it for the T-Rex, the source has nothing. I wish they could have done like scoots or something, like maybe some bars holding up some armor plating for the Ankylos Ankylosaurus gene. Alright, here's Velociraptor attacking, calling, idle. I think they got it just on like a rock, a rock fossil. Because you see that a lot with Expectinus. Let me get my uh, night vision real quick. Suchomimus, swimming, walking. Let me clear these out. Is that a dew claw? Why does Titanus have a, a doe claw? Okay. Trudon. Oh, walking. I guess the female is bigger. So that's probably why. I 
I do hope that they do work on a port for this game, for, the, for this mod. I think the mod could benefit significantly much more in, I don't know, 1.20. Now, I am, that does sound like a huge reach, a huge ask, because uh, it's in 1.12, and that's going to be a lot of work. But I think the Quadex especially do need it. Because, as you see, they spin a lot. So hopefully, since the aquatic update, it'll be a lot more refined. Oh, god damn it. It'll be a lot more refined and cleaned up. Idle and roaring. There was a screenshot of Indominus, like, eating the face of the Ankylosaurus. Like, like the actual physical uh, creatures. But I haven't seen that in game yet, so I'm not sure if it's just like some special effects, or like posing. But yeah, Triceratops attacking, challenging. They do a really good job on the models, or at least the skeletons, at least. I think they need to work on the uh, rehab, fucking cohabitation with fossil archaeology again, since you know very significant with each other. So the models don't change. I hope they do more poses for Giga, Indominus Rex, Malusaurus, and Ultimosaurus. I think that'd add a lot. And I noticed a lot of them, at least with Malusaurus, 
kinda an Altramosaurus. Uh, it does a lot of stock sound effects that you see in budget dinosaur movies and games. I, I don't really like hearing them every time I it's dinosaur related. It's kind of annoying. This one is really well done. And keep in mind, I had the Spinosaur Patreon version for a long period now, and they never had this skeleton in. So this is recent. So they're willing to add more versions of it. So. so all right. Okay, dead, attack, alright, Monophosaurus, what, oh, it was just, yeah, walking, that's, looks like attacking to me, they do a really good job on their models. That very much is true. Melisaurus, of course, and other versions. The Mosasaur, of course, being fucking huge. Big damn. And here's it attacking. Looks really great. Uh, yeah, nothing. But yeah, I think uh, updating version, porting to a new version, would significantly help. Or at least they start doing it now. So they're not behind the A ball. Um, eight ball, rather. And I think the aquatics would really benefit from the aquatic update. I think they would benefit a lot. Yeah, like, why not just do this for the scoots with Indominus? a lot of poses for this guy. Oh, they could have done so many cool things with the Carapasuchus. And it's, it was a, kind of a bummer that they didn't have any sounds for it. Not many. A lot of it was just damaged sounds. Yeah, I'm just shift clicking, shift shift right clicking to change modes like the sex and the position of the statues. So, for anyone who doesn't know, that's how you do it. I don't know how to how the signs work, so you're on you're on your own with that one. Uh, let me get another pop up to my vision real quick. Yes. Okay. 
Cephale running, scratching. Idle again. Ferrarosaurus attacking. That's very reminiscent of the Tau Tau game, which I'm, I do appreciate. It's a shame that the loss or the Jurassic World Evolution 2 doesn't do that with their Herrerasaurus, their Truodon, or their Tadosaurus. I would fucking buy that. DLC instantly. And here's the Giga. Like, why not? It's cool. Gallimimus. Running. Death. Okay, nothing. Elasmosaurus. It's just added... Edmontosaurus, anything else? Curious pose. Rearing. And that's it. Let's get rid of the lag. Um, like, the only way I could see these, like, skeletons working and not killing your game, if you're going, like, a semi budget build, is have different mini museums around the area so it's like for different enclosures there's like different museum buildings so like they're in an area there'll be maybe I don't know seven dinosaurs I think that seven is a little much five five maybe five different species and there being a little small museum building as dedicated to the species I think that's probably the best way to go around that lag hurdle. Oh. Cool. Allosaurus. Threat. Um, again, for the, the reason why I'm doing these videos is just for the sake of people who are gonna or planning on donating to Jurassic Craft the Patreon is so they know what they're going for, what they're donating and what they're getting. I find it kind of unuseful with the wikis not really showing what is actually in the mod technically. I, I at least have a page dedicated to the Patreon editions. So it's like, you know. That's walking. Okay. Dilophosaurus attacking. Very cool. Um, after this, I'll get the spawn eggs and do it that way. So here's Carnotaurus. Here's its death. Attacking. So two dinosaurs every month. So, yeah. Uh, you just pay attention to the Twitter. They're really good with it. With showing on what's going on. Saurus walking. This is kind of taking a lot of space, so I'm about to destroy these. They do look good, though. The only issue is that they don't really render in from far away. So it's like if you're far away, they kind of just disappear. However, with things like the fossil archaeology, they count as a mob. 
So they, they render in sooner. So technically it's a living creature, as you can tell from the damage bar. It's technically a creature. It's just not mobile. So technically it is a thing. Huh. So that's why fossil and archaeology fossils render in sooner. Because of course, you know, structures I don't know, like signs or don't matter as much as entities. So you could kind of see a creeper sooner than, I don't know, these fossils. Sorry for my mouse and keyboard if you're getting bombarded. I'm feeling it. I feel like it's coming. With a clear, baby. There you go. You gotta prepare for these things. Last fossils, source, which I think they need to update it, but whatever. Hey, it's working. Alligator gar, kilobator. That's it. Oh yeah. S speaking of which, I'm gonna touch, touch on this briefly. Here's the old models for Jurassic Craft. Holy uh, I've tried he take, he takes it going, yes. on this version. It's the first one. Look at this. This kilobator. is the albino one. Look at the animation. Uh, I, uh, I, I kind of I appreciate the older models. I think sometimes over complex isn't good. Maybe they would. One. Now this has been upgraded for 1.8. You can see in the arm. Hey, it's, a, it's an pen. Cut. Let me show you the old Pens are two different. Uh, next to the Apatosaurus, we yeah, I have Oh, it, it might have, That is weird. Rocky is pretty in, bad, though. Uh, it's, it's, uh, some of the big dinos do take... You can... It, 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 take like a baby T-Rex. Carnotaurus looks pretty cool. Green again, one with a red... Carnotaurus uh, right uh, really like me. Still with a couple Oh, look at that! Look at that! I now, like those spines. Uh, I like one thing they won't do models. is react to pigs Here's anymore. Uh, very much like the, uh, very similar to the IRX when you see it, but different coloration. There are two different types. I wonder if we can get the second one now. That'd be really good. Oh, oh yes, God. our lucky day! Now I feel like it's a lot more smoother with the movements. I feel like with the newer, like the current new stuff. It's kind of like very slow and very almost as if it's afraid to really commit to the animation, if you know what I mean. I don't know. All right, well, let's get back in. Let's get in the models. Uh, oh, wrong, wrong page. Uh, I'll start from the bottom to the top. Boop, 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 boop. Tyrannosaurus, Tylosaurus, and Truodon. Let's start with Truodon first. Of course, when it's nighttime, eyes come out and all that. And I'll. Like, why can't Jurassic World Evolution do that? Here's Tylosaurus. Did it, did it die? There it is. Excellent. Tyrannosaurus. Tyrannosaurus. Oh, I'm gonna do the 
chapters over again. God damn it. Hold on a second. Let's put a, an egg in there so I could kind of do it later. I think the Rex is fine. I don't think we need to deal with Rex again. Expecting this. I hope to God YouTube doesn't censor me because I said that. Because as like a misunderstanding of a, a slur. Exfactness. For clarification. That'd be unlucky if I. <laughs> Ow. So you got exfactness. You got this uber. Okay, Triceratops. Dilemmas. Coming to me. I don't remember if it did. Jurassic Craft Titanus. I'm stupid. I, sw I think it does have it. It did have it in the older versions, but it looked terrible. Am I just overreacting? I might be just forgetting. What am I thinking of then? Like, it's either like over simplistic models for Jurassic Craft that was good. It's either over sim like simplistic or over complicated. But like this in between, I think don't look that great. God damn. Am I over yet? Am I just going schizo? Oh yeah, I hope they add Therizinosaurus soon. They need to add Therizinosaurus and all the stuff from the movie. Movies. I think I'm just going schizo. Am I stupid? I swear to God. They added Titanus. I, I... I might be just losing it, man. I'm going losing my sanity. <laughs> Dinosaurus, Stegosaurus, Stegosaurus. I don't like how oversized things are. They're like a ridiculous point. I'm gonna be honest. That's my only gripe, I think. That's my only gripe with the mod, I think. Is sure, big things are fine. And they do, like the adults do vary in sizes. It's not like a purely a sex thing. But I, I think it needs refinement. There needs, they need to be like decreased sizes. Like Spinosaur, for example, maybe being slightly taller, like here. And it feels like everything is so unnecessarily big, unnecessarily big. And I get it, it's just park and all that, but I mean, it's still kind of.
too sure if I'd got an egg if we do that. Rex is fine. I think I got Parasaur or Locus in there already. There to go. I think I already got M Musus in there. Let me take a look real quick. Um, but I'm kind of worried that Jurassic Craft or Dr uh, Fossil and Archaeology are going a little too complex. I think they're overdoing it. At least a little bit. I think they're overdoing it. I think they need to tone it back a little bit. I mean, I think they're relatively fine. But, like, from what I've seen, the pacing in terms of, like, how fast they go versus their animation style, it doesn't look good. That's my only gripe with the new stuff for fossil and archaeology. Make a prawn, a masonia. Glorified trash cans, and I do appreciate it. I mean, if one of you want to make a list or like work on the wiki of like what things are on the Patreon, go for it. Just ask me, like, hey, can you send me some screenshots of? and give the list of the animals you need. I'm okay with giving screenshots. Because I feel like the customer should have the right to see that having to go through tons of work to find it.
I'll spawn those again. One long. Got I have a chance with it being anvil later aggravated. Let's take a look. A lot of this like Patreon stuff is just self-discovery stuff because it's not like listed on what is in the mod. Um, black, I guess, would be my go-to. Uh, how about the flip? Nope. Okay, well, I have no idea. If it is black, I have no idea on what you would do to make it black. Dias, Dryasaurus, Dodo, Dilophosaurus. They're gonna be a little close to uh, death. Okay, I guess he's not here. Carnotaurus, Carnotaurus, beep, 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 beep. To clean up all this stuff later. Apparently, Ceratosaurus is nocturnal, which I, I mean, I guess makes sense if you're going by the movie. But again, it's not necessarily discreetly nocturnal, so again, I have no idea where the fuck they got that idea from. Last rail. I'm 
to go a little farther away. That's it. Now I gotta clean everything up. I hope that gave the general thing of what you needed to see. new. I didn't see that at all. Why? It does it in this video, but not the sound videos. To be fair, that's on me. I'll probably reopen the world. If they, yeah, they could, if they actually port, um, they could actually do a lot of revamps with the semi like Spinosaurus and all that. So their swimming looks really well done. And because the only thing really swimming about the Spinosaurus is the statues. Of course, they do have swimming animations, but it goes back to just floating above water, just bouncing on water. Because they could, what they could do is just go on multiple geology ways where it's just like whenever it's in water, it is in the animation. And with Jurassic Craft, it's kind of unique because if it's like half over the water, the leg will go into the water and one leg will be kind of elevated onto the, on the outside block. The sandbar block. So. Um, as for the person who made, I guess, the Fossil Archaeology Reborn, I guess would be the name. It's basically the very poorly made models of Fossil Archaeology. So, they kind of, they don't look good. And I think they need to, like, actually, like, rewatch old fossils and archaeology content to really grasp how they looked. Because what they're doing right now isn't cutting it. I'm having a, I feel, I smell another dinosaur just hidden. I know you're here. somewhere. Well, I'm just going to re-log. So it's 
no stuff on the ground. I'm gonna get back to the sound videos. I think they need to focus on actually the models, then the sounds. Because a lot of the sounds are really easy. It's a lot of Jurassic Park mod sounds. That's really what a lot of them were. So it kind of does it themselves. New World. Um, so they could do that. And they would be perfectly fine. Um, yeah. And a lot of bedrock stuff. Uh, I don't know. I really hope they do uh, port Fo Jurassic Craft and Fossil Archaeology so I can play them together again, but like in newer uh, versions. Because I think both mods can benefit a lot. Fossil and Archaeology, in my opinion, are, are way ahead of Jurassic Craft just because it's just it's just more smooth with the movements. Like, it doesn't spin as much as Jurassic Craft Aquatics, for example. And they're much more fluent with the movement. And with Jurassic Craft, they could benefit a lot from the Aquatic update. They could really benefit a lot. So... And with going back to the fossil archaeology, uh, I guess nostalgia bait mod, I guess, or at least the mod that tries to implement the old stuff. I think they need to just rework the models. Like they're doing, they're going this theme where it's like the block is vertical. That's way too vertical. You need to don't do that. Very bad. Don't do it. It doesn't look good. Stop it. Very, very bad. I think I closed the video, I think. Yeah, I think I closed the video by accident. Whoops. Um, I could probably find it real quick. Everybody's awake. Um, and, and like what the thing is wow I am not surprised at all a weather clear to keep it just to hold on just to make sure you guys are aware the rest of the video is going to be me rambling so it, if you are looking for any more mo creatures from the mod uh, it's over it's done i guess i could s spawn some of the fossil and archaeology stuff as i ramble actually you know what that's a good idea that's an excellent idea because i could actually talk about it right after i found find the video where it shows the mod that tries to replicate fossils in archaeology or like the old stuff and I talked a little bit on the first video relating to Jurassic Craft um, my, per my opinion on it is it looks bad it doesn't look good where is it Like, the style is fine, right? Like, the there are mods, like, Prehistoric Fun, for example. That style fits it. Stop trying to implement it into fossil and archaeology. Like, their Thursdinosaurus looks semi-fine. It's this one. Fossil and archaeology origins mod. They need to rework the fuck out of this. I don't... It doesn't look good. But the thing is, they could do so much because there's so much old mm -hmm. stuff that has been removed, okay. and I'll, I'll get into that. 
three in. Why am I doing this? Uh, let me just find a. I'll just. Like the plesiosaurs, they don't look like the old plesiosaurs. So what you need to do is go through individually on the dinosaur basis, check the older models and implement those. Implement all the old models, all of them. So it's not just one old model. It's more like, I don't know, three old models of Tyrannosaurus, for example. Originally it was the one on its hind legs then it went to completely vertical, or I guess parallel to the ground. Then with parallel to the ground with feathers, and so on and so forth. Then with the current Rex, let me find it first. And with the current Rex, where it's just kind of, it's plain, like this. Oh. That might be problematic. That would have been really bad. Because I'm, I'm not even done with the sound videos yet. Are you, you're stupid. I do like the older, these model horses. Like, I like them a lot better. But again, nostalgia thing. But they could add this model as well as the older models as well. So, and they could continue adding on as they get the models in the newer one get replaced. Um, so, of course, you got the Rex, Alligator Gar. Nautilus. I think there were several other versions of the Nautilus. Yeah, I think it was just one where it's just com like it never comes out. Or it always stays out. So, there's that. You can also add the old Coelacanth. You could do that. Um, let me get Triceratops. Velociraptor. I got that already. Plesiosaurus, Mosasaurus. Like Triceratops. Here's, if you actually pay attention to the fossil archaeology stuff, it got updated a lot. <laughs> so you could add this model as well as the way older ones with the very weird legs. So you could do a lot of stuff. Like, you keep this model of Lost Raptor as well as the vertical ones, then the slanted ones that are still scaly. Of course, the old Tyranodon. Easy source, obviously. Of course, the old Plesiosaur. Old Mosasaur. Add all the old models. And, like, actually commit to the old models, not just. Well, well, the very first iterations. So, you can do a lot of stuff. Like, act, please commit all of it to all of it. All the old models. So it's like, some people have a preference on different types of the old models that they like. I got rid of that sword. Whoops. Gallimimus. Allosaurus went through some changes as well. Originally it was just basically Rex with a smaller head and always red eyes. Gallimimus. Obviously having derpy eyes originally. Pachyonicus. Pachy obviously having a lot of changes done. And Kylosaurus. Being very, it, was, it used to be very fat and not very long as it as it is now. Of course, Spinosaurus having some typical models as well, like the prehistoric planet one. 
as well as the, I guess, the one with the fluke that they retrofitted, or like they changed their minds about. Archaeology. Spinosaurus. Like they basically have the same thing going on. They could add this one as well as this top one. Okay, I didn't click that, but sure. The old Trot the old Tratosaurus as well. Um, this one, since it was rare retrofitted, but again, it's on the cusp of new and old. So pick your poison on that one. Triceratops. Let's look up Triceratops because it it went through a lot of transitions. So here's the newer one, but here's the old one. So like, commit to it. Go all in. Like, go through all the old stuff and just add them. But this, this isn't it. Like, I appreciate the effort, but they don't look that great. I'm gonna, that's my personal opinion. They don't look that great. So with Origins, add this model, but as well as the current model, because that the current theory is also being changed. There is, you know, um, I could probably tell if they have a disc where I could probably tell them. But keep this model as well. And this one is a little weird because it doesn't have the sounds of the Jurassic Park Spino. It has these weird grumbles. So you could have this one with its current sounds as well as the older one with Jurassic Park 3 Spino sounds. So on and so forth. So a lot of these newer, like these new dinosaur models, like this Velociraptor, obviously they used to have Jurassic Park raptor sounds, but not anymore. So, you have to go all in. I I beg you, just go all in if you're going to do it. Um, but, the Oviraptor's fine. They did fine on the Carnotaurus. I think they need to just go back to this, the drawing boards. I'm going to be honest. Like, please. Like, I want it to be as good as you want it to be. And this Rex, it looks like prehistoric fauna's Rex. It's going off that theme of, like, that perpendicular neck rectangle. That's not fossils in archaeology style. The Mosasaurus is kind of fine, but again, it's trying to be overly complex. It's, tr it's overly changing way too much. I want you to be organic, I, I guess is the word. I want you to be, you, I want you to present the old stuff. So for younger audiences, they could experience the old fossil archaeology. As well as the new when it gets ported, that'd be great. But you need to nail down these models. I think they need to rework from the ground up. Like, they're trying to over be overly complex. Like, the Carnotaurus. The Carnotaurus that was the very old model. Let me look it up real quick. It was this. It was a very simple model. Not overly complex color palette or patterns. And model is pretty simple as well. You got, you know, the starting base cube with the legs kind of at a slant and a slanted ankle as well as a flat foot. And as, you know, the tail, rectangles, the small cube arms with a slightly vertical rectangle as well as another rectangle from the other 
rectangle. Then it goes to the head with being a cube. Then there's a slab of the bottom jaw. It's a very simple model palette. And I feel like this, this mod, it doesn't understand the simplicity. Like the pleasure of the simplicity of fossils in archaeology. I think they need to go back and understand of what made that mod great. Like, wow. It, it, like, a lot of these new dinosaur mods, they feel like not that great. Like, I don't feel the urge to, like, need to download them. I just see them as more as a hindrance. Like, why? It doesn't give me, like, like, whoa, I, I need this. I need to have it. And this is, this kind of falls under it. Like, sure, the Mosasaurus is the closest there has been in the mod that has got me to that nostalgia. But again, it fumbles that. So, pay attention to that top left picture. Mosasaurus. Then you go here, and look at that. It's a very simple model. The spines are overly complex for what it, for the, that model that they're using. Like it only is on the tail, and with this, it goes here. It's overly cube cubic. While with this, there is cubes, but it's a lot more fat. I guess it's not overly detailed, and that's the pleasure. The only thing I could really see being needed to be changed is the fins. It's just too much of one green. Add texture to it. Other than that, I want this. Not this overly complex fucking art form. The Rex is fine, but again, it doesn't really follow the old formula. Tyranno... Saurus. Oh yeah, if any of you know where a video where the enclosures is glowstone and it's with the old models like the vertical Rex, please send it to me. I need it. But yeah, here's the old Rex. Of course it has its rage, but when it's tamed it looks like this. It's a very simple design. And I feel like it fails here. It fails. It's trying to be overly texturous. And sure, fantastic, uh, you know, 1.20, you know, times change. But sometimes that change doesn't mean it's good change. I, I, res I love the sniffer, you know, overly complex pattern designs. But... There has to be some aspect where you have just don't change it, don't touch it. And with this, I think even the old fossil and archaeology stuff fits pretty well in new Minecraft still. Because I'm downloading the mod for the old stuff, not whatever new spin you're putting on it. And that might be just a hate thread from my part. But I personally don't find this appealing. I don't find this really tickling my nostalgia boner. Like the Dilophosaurus, it, it's going by that perpendicular cube or a rectangle neck. I don't find that really appealing. It doesn't really draw me in. Like, again, it looked a lot different from that. Dilophosaurus. Of course, a lot of the old images have been scrubbed, but uh, here's here's an example. It's a vat. Again, it falls under that very simple model. Base cube where the thighs are. Then the, when it goes to the torso, it has a s slightly slanted rectangle. Then there's the neck, then the head. A short neck, then the head. As well as the, the flaps. It's a very simple formula, and the jaw is slightly shorter than the top jaw. 
and I hope that's the thing they change because it it doesn't really draw me in what the fuck is this I actually hope this person loses their job I hope this thing gets deleted it's so disgusting it's like replacing history almost that looks sick that looks fucking dope. That also looks dope. Yeah, but imagine, like, if they are implementing all the models that have been used that are no longer in use, like this one soon to be, people could then dedicate their texture packs to that mod. To this mod. To the Origins mod. That'd be, that'd be sick. So at least you, people can have the past models as well as the new models at the same time. As well as everything else in between. And I will be... F Hold on. Let's take a look. Hopefully they changed it, but I don't think they are gonna... Um, what was it? Fossils and archaeology... If anything, I might just ask the OG creators to just remaster the whole mod. So it's like the, the original people behind Fossil Archaeology can then implement all the old models into either the current model or in its, its separate mod. Origins. I don't like it. Big news, there is now a Discord for the server. Join the latest updates and chat, blah, blah. Okay, what's up? We're not just dabbling in alpha here. We're in beta phase. Most features are pretty much set. Uh-oh. That ain't good. I don't like that. About animations. Right now. Right now, there aren't plans to super advanced ones. Good. Don't do that. It should reflect the simple ones it, it was rather simple I don't remember exactly how the old Rex ran hold on hold on a second because I remember one video in particular where I could it had the old model um, T-Rex versus uh, Ender Dragon. Oh shit, it's animation spam. Uh oh. This ain't good. I might have to be looking for a long time. Hold on to that thought. I'm gonna find it. Oh, there it is. Oh god. Oh shit, copyright. I forgot. It was a rather simple animation. So you got, of course, the ankle and all that. It was simple walking. Minecraft walking. It was not that complex. And I hope they never change it. I don't care about... Well, it doesn't look in modern, look good in modern Minecraft. I don't care. You're trying to replicate the or original source material. Do not change that. Do not touch it. Um, this isn't a, it's a standalone project, my own take on bringing back the charm of the original. I don't see the charm. I mean, no disrespect. I don't see the charm. Like the plesiosaurs don't look that great compared to the original. Got ideas, that'd be awesome. I'm juggling multiple projects, so I don't have time. I have to a complete list of potential add-ons, proper suggestions in our support server. And just to be clear, this mod isn't a part of the revival. It's an indie release straight from my desk on your screens. Hmm. It still needs 
to be polished, but it is an amazing alternative considering the original mod is, is has been ported to, but not at the moment. I mean, it hasn't been because it's still in 1.12. It's being worked on. Thank you for your work. Blah. blah, blah. What is like the? I don't. I don't think so. No, it, I don't think it is. Fossils aren't spawning at all. I'd love to. You know, what? I'm gonna join it. And. Keep in mind, if you're going to join the server, please, please don't harass them. Like me, ask respective things when you're asking for stuff. Like, don't harass. What? Server rules. Don't post irrelevant stuff to the mod related category. Use it. Treat other members nicely. Don't swear too much. At that's a very loose one. Don't post pictures that are gory or erotic in nature. Read frequently asked questions before asking a question. Harassment relief. Okay. If you feel like something isn't clear regarding the server, admins are above the law and will do anything to keep the server's well being intact. Anything that goes be beyond common human decency is not allowed. Okay. Uh, models, I would imagine. You pay for those? <sighs> just, just don't. I'm not too sure on the whole complexity of it, but if I think it, if you're paying someone to then texture the creatures, they're not doing it right. I think you need to be a lot more, like, you need to put your foot down on certain things. Like, I want it to be as this simple. Give them the source material so they understand how what you're talking about. Okay, then let me explain how this works. If, even if I did all the models, animations, and textures, which I can't, it would still take a lot of time. That means that that's time I'm not working at my job, which means I don't get paid for the time I spend working on the mod. Well, see about that then, as it will require new models. I don't have anyone to model and only have one guy to animate, which I pay and I program the mod myself. Okay. So he can't model, but that's someone you want to get then. Of uh, I you got the mo you got the animator down. That's fantastic. But you need to get someone who can model as if it was I don't know, 2013, 2010. You need to bring that charm back.
again, if you're going to join, don't harass him. It seems like he's trying his hardest, trying his best. So, everyone, chill out. Alright, chill out. It's fantastic if you're on... Alright, here's here's a better alternative. Here's another alternative. You could keep your your models that you're using, but add on, add the actual models from the mod that you're trying to bring this nostalgia from. So you could keep your current Mosasaur as well as the old, the actual fossil archaeology Mosasaur. So you could have your, your, I don't know, your Spinosaur, for example. Spinosaurus. Spinosaurus. It looks goofy. Um, it's basically a green thing with a sail on top. So you could, you could keep that, but as well as add this one, for example, and this one. That's my current suggestion. I mean, to be fair, to be fair, I think both mods have different philosophies of sizes versus all that. It's not really a good comparison. That looks ugly. That's my current idea. So, I mean, I'm not, I'm not too sure what's going on with him. I'm not going to, you know, be like, all oh, needy. But, again, he is trying to bring back the OG feeling of the old model, of the old mod. So, I think it's pretty important if you kind of be true to it. I think their Carnotaurus is a lot more closer to success. Same goes for their uh, their Therizinosaurus. But again, they lose that simplicity. Moza, Theri, and their Carnotaur are their closest to the original thing. I, I'm going to purely not download it based on, you know Hold on, let me get done with uh, spawning all of them. Uh, let me reset everything real quick.
I just use a pickaxe? Yeah, fuck it. I guess he's staying there forever. I wonder. Hold on, I'm gonna try it real quick. Okay. Um, already spawned them in. Anonychus, Galamimus. I notice. Of course, there are no ornithalusties. But yeah, with the fossil archaeology, they do a lot better in terms of aquatics. They swim a lot better. It's not like it's having a stroke. The, the dodo has went through some changes. try to just end the video as soon as possible because it's kind of going on an hour
Oh yeah, the Smilodon has went through a lot of changes as well. That is pretty old. Is it? Oh, shit, I should probably do my dailies soon. I forgot to do those. And you know, obviously, the, the bosses. I don't want to jump spot those. you guys have a good one.